So just coming to a Sukhasana, just a cross-legged posture and bring the hands to the knees. Scoop your shoulders a couple of rolls down your back. And then just let the shoulders settle, just have a sense of lifting some height through the crown of the head. Just take a couple of deeper, slower breaths, just get into the body. On the exhale, just have the awareness of Mula Bandha pulling up, so that deeper pelvic floor lift. I'm going to start working into Ujjayi, so I'm going to guide through the kind of build up into that uh, today, just for the recording sake. So we're going to take a big breath in, and as you exhale, sigh through the mouth as though you're fogging up your glasses. Inhale again, and again, exhale as though you're fogging up glasses. Inhale again, so do the same feeling, but with the lips closed. So you have that more audible tone to your breath. Keep that going. Let's feel that slight lift of the soft palate at the back of the throat. Feeling at the end of the exhale, belly button draws to spine. So we start working the Udiyana Vanda. I'm going to take a couple of rounds of, say, 30 pulses of your Kapalabhati breath. So we're going to take a big full breath in. Just fully empty that breath again. Take another full breath in. Exhale halfway and begin the pulsing of the abdomen. Take another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a big breath in. Full breath out. Try to take another round. So full breath in. Exhale halfway. Begin your pulses of 30. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, take a big breath in. And a full breath out. Take another couple of rounds of breath just at your own kind of pace, just let that kind of settle into the body. Good, and then just rolling the neck out a little bit. Come over into all fours when you're ready. We're just strengthening into the wrists. So the palms spread open really wide into the floor. Okay, just take a little scrunch of the fingers so the index finger knuckle slightly pulls up and then rocking the weight forwards, backwards in the hand. So the fingertip pads really get the press of your weight coming through them. Okay, turn the fingers out to the sides of your mat, rocking side to side in the hands there. And then turn the fingers towards your knees, and maybe just leaning back towards the heels slightly so you stretch that inside of the wrists. Good. Lean, keep the palms out, just lean forwards into the wrists and press through the hands that you're doming your back for your cat stretch. 
Take a big breath into your back ribs. Then slowly release your back, turn the hands into face each other, maybe around a little bit further. And slight transfer of weight between the hands. And then spin the hands back to face the front. Okay, flip the back of your right hand, so back of the hand is to the ground, spread the fingers open to fingernails, stay on the floor, straighten your arm and try and rotate the full line of your elbow to face forwards. And then as you exhale, bend the elbow out to the side, reach it away from you. Straighten, rotate the forearm, and then bend it out to the side, reach it away from you. Good. Take another round. So next time your elbow is straight, keep the rotation, scrunch up your hand as tight as you can, and then release it. So and then scrunch up the hand again, keep the elbow really straight, and then release it. Good, and scrunch up your hand, and release it. Good, flatten the hand back out, take that to the other side. So back of the left hand to the mat, straighten your arm with the rotation, and then bend the elbow out to the side. Keep it going, straighten and rotate, and bend it out to the side. Straighten. So next time the elbow is straight, keep the rotation of it. Scrunch up your hand as tight as you can. And then relax it, and scrunch it. And relax it. Good. One more scrunch. And relax it. Good. Flatten the palms out. So fingers stay really flat to the ground now. Lift up both palms. So keep the fingers flat to the floor. Palms lift up. And slowly lower both palms down. Okay, again, lift both palms up. Slowly lower both palms down. Again, make sure they lift at the same time. Lift both palms up. And slowly down. Okay, from here, just try taking your shoulders slightly further forward towards the fingers, lift both palms up, and slowly down. That's it. Maybe from there, lift the palms up, tuck the toes, lift the knees, place the palms down, then place the knees down. And lift the palms, lift the knees, lower the palms, lower the knees. One more round, palms up, knees up, palms down, knees down. Either take four more rounds here or come into plank. Take four lifts of the palms in plank. Little dip into the elbows, you have some spring to so press into the fingers. And okay. down. Three. Yeah. Two more. Last one. And down. Uh, I can I don't do that so much nowadays. I need to keep that up. So just take a rock forwards, backwards, take a couple of cat carrots, then move through your back. Good. Rolling your hips side to side or round in circles for the ribs. Really loosen off through the back as much as it kind of feels good to. Keep that nice, strong, jai breath going. Okay, then coming into a kneeling position, so just tuck the toes underneath, lift high up onto the knees. Going to work into that Uddiyana um, that we tapped into last week in your practice, or you may have done before. So it's that stomach vacuum, so belly button pulls up behind the rib cage. Okay, so you're going to take a big breath in as your arms lift. As you exhale, rounding through your back, take the fingers to face the inside of your thighs, so you can press into the legs and scoop the stomach up behind the ribs. You find that vacuum of the stomach. Slightly tuck the chin towards the chest and then try and lengthen your spine into that hold. So it should feel like you cannot breathe or talk in this hold. In this hold. Okay, relax the abdomen, then breathe in and release the breath. We'll take another round again. I'm going to show you my abdomen if you're new to that feeling. So take a big breath in, lift up. Exhale, hands to the thighs, turn the fingers inwards and scoop up. Relax the abdomen, then breathe in. Just empty the breath. Okay, if you're used to this practice and you want to take it into the next level, 
bring the stomach flapping, we call it. So in the hold, I will show you, you release and then pull in, release and pull in. You're not releasing the breath, you release the hold. So I'll show you one round. Okay, if you're new to it, don't worry, just play around with it, see how it feels. So take a big breath in, lifting arms. Exhale, fingers to thighs. Fully empty the breath and scoop up. Release, breathe in and empty the breath. Good, hopefully you've not just had breakfast <laughs> this morning. Okay, so from here, come into a downward jog. Give the legs a paddle, feet a wiggle, whatever feels good. Slightly turn the toes in, heels out. So you feel maybe a bit more lengthening from towards the inner thighs. Get that sense of slightly wrapping shoulders, relax the neck into it. Holding here, take two full rounds of breath. So nice long inhale. And exhale. Inhaling two. And exhale. So from here, you're going to turn your left foot slightly out so as though it's slightly towards a warrior one pose. So you can get the left heel rooted to the floor. So bring it in a bit closer if you need to. Lift the right foot towards the ceiling. Doesn't have to go too high. Keep pressing through the right hand. Take your left hand, grab hold of the inside of that left ankle, and then pull yourself closer towards left leg. Feel right leg lift up. Take a full breath in. Exhale, release left hand down, place the right foot down. Turn right foot slightly towards a warrior one angle. Left foot lifts up towards the ceiling. So make sure right heel is grounded. So bring the foot in closer to you if you need to. Right hand reaches for the inside of the right ankle. Pull that in towards you. Take a full breath. Exhale, take the hand to the floor and the foot to the ground. Roll forward into a plank position. Take a big breath in. Slowly lower through a chaturanga, half or full. Inhale, take a cobra or an upward facing dog. Exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Bring gaze to hands, bend the knees, step, walk or float the feet up to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. Inhale as you rise, coming all the way up, palms lift, gaze to hands. Exhale, bring the thumbs through the crown and to the heart center. Holding and standing, bring the hands end down to the sides of the body into Tadasana, mountain pose. Find that Ujjayi breath. Connect in with Mula Bandha, that pelvic floor lift. Have the awareness of navel drawing to spine at the same time. Keep the big toes touching, spread the rest of the toes out, just a slight gap between the heels. Inhale, lifting hands above the head. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, step or float to Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Three full breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhaling, three. Exhale, bring the gaze to the hands, bend the knees, step forward, jump the feet up to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. Inhale as you rise. Straight back through for a second round. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step or jump, but come through to Chaturanga. 
Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Three breaths, static or moving, whatever feels good. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhaling three. Exhale. Bring the gaze to the hands, bend the knees, step, walk, or float. Inhale, bring feet to halfway lift. Exhale, folding in. Inhale as you rise, hands above the head. Exhale, refold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lifting chest. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Pausing one. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Gaze to hands, bend the knees, step, walk or float. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, folding in. Inhale as you rise, hands over the head. Come into chair pose, sit the hips down towards the heels. Reach the fingers out to hands feel active. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, folding, Uttanasana. Palms stay flat now, so inhale, pull the chest forwards. Exhale, up chaturanga. Inhale, lifting chest. Exhale, downward dog. Lift right leg up, take a breath in. Exhale, step through. Turn the back foot. Inhale, warrior one, palms together, lift the gaze. Exhale, chaturanga, right foot sweeps up, keep the foot floating as you chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot lifts. Exhale, step through. Turn the back foot. Inhale, warrior one, palms pressed together, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands down, to the left leg back for chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Three breaths, one. Exhale, two, exhale, three, exhale, gaze to hands, bend the knees, step, walk or floats, halfway lift, inhale, exhale, squeeze into the legs, inhale, Utkatasana, Exhale, refold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, palms stay flat. Exhale, jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, lifting chest. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step through to between the hands, turn the back foot. Inhale, warrior one, pausing here, guys. So take your left hand down the back of your neck, right hand coming around to behold into the hand. If the hands don't quite meet, it doesn't matter. Keep pressing the hands in wherever they do meet to. So you're going to humble warrior with this uh, Gomakasana bind. So take a breath in, lift the chest up. As you exhale, bow forwards to the inside of your front leg, the left elbow coming towards the floor. Holding there. Keep that Ujjayi breath rolling. Try and get elbow towards the ground. Come right into the inside of the leg. So you can heel toe your front foot open a little bit wider, girls. Yeah, perfect. On your next inhale, lift the hands back up to the sky and unravel them. So from here, taking a hop chaturanga, so lift the back foot off, land the right foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. 
Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift left foot high. Exhale, step through to between the hands. Turn the back foot to inhale, lift the arms up. So right hand comes down to back of the neck. Left hand wraps around, maybe grabbing hold of the fingers, maybe not, doesn't matter. Inhale, lift the chest. Heel toe the front foot wider if we need to, so the shoulders can come to the inside of your front leg. Right elbow bow, tap the floor. Deep in the breath. Deep in the squat of your front leg. And then deepen into the exhale. Keep that ujjayi sound. Good, strong back leg. Inhale, lift the hands up. So hands to floor, lift the back foot. Take this as much of a handstand hop as you want to, but we land on the left foot. Inhale, lift the chest. Good. Exhale, back to downward dog. Two full breaths here. Breathe through the nose, on the mouth, wherever feels good. Inhale, two. Exhale. Gaze to hands, bend the knees, step, walk or jump. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. Inhale, come into chair pose, holding. Straight back through for last round of feet. So refold Uttanasana. Inhale, Urd Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot lift, inhale. Exhale, step through, turn the back foot. Inhale, warrior one. This time, clasp the hands back together behind your back. Open the chest, take a big breath in. Exhale, bow forward again to the inside of the front leg. Forehead coming towards the floor. Hands lifting to ceiling and reaching overhead. Think forehead coming towards the ground. So deep in the bend into the front knee. From here, you can hold or you can bring the arms and thread underneath the right leg. Take it into Kubinyasana. Leg float if you want to. Any options to play? And back into Warrior One if you're floating. Take the hands back up to Warrior One. And exhale again, any variation of the triangle, whether that's the sweep of the, the front leg going up, we'll take the hop. Lift the chest. Downward dog. Left foot lifts, take a breath in. Exhale, step three. Rear upper draft now, one, inhale, arms up. Clasp the hands together behind your back. Inhale, open chest. Exhale, humble warrior, forehead to ground. Lift the hands up and overhead. Again, option to hold here for another five breaths or so, or thread the arms under. So the left arm will go under the thigh, lift the back heel, and come into Kumbhinyasana. So front leg floats out, drop the hip into the right elbow, back foot lifts up. Good, come back into warrior one. Lovely, inhale, lift the arms up. Nice. Exhale, any variation of chaturanga. Lift the chest, back to downward dog. Take two full breaths, inhale. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Bring gaze to hands, bend the knees, jumping up. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold it into the legs. Deep squat through the legs, come back into chair pose. Interlace the fingers, press the palms forward and then lift the arms up. Nice deep opening around the chest and shoulders. Let the head stay softening forward. Sit lower towards the heel. So weight comes back. Keep Mula Bandha pulling up to support the spine. Take a big breath. Sit lower on the exhale. Press the palms forwards of you. Inhale. 
Exhale, sit lower, gaze to your big toes, reach the tailbone back. Inhale. Exhale, back half lunge, palms to the floor, taking a crow pose or playing around with it. So knees come towards shoulders, take the weight forwards, float the toes, holding for at least three breaths. Exhale, chaturanga, jump it back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot lifts up, take a breath in. Exhale, step through, coming into warrior one, arms lifting. Exhale, come into warrior two. And just rotating that back foot, holding there in warrior two. Gaze over the front fingertips, soften the shoulders, soften the jaw. Wrap the left hand around your lower back so the fingers might grab hold of that right thigh. Taking to reverse warriors, so right hand lifts up and reaches back. Feel the lengthening around the right ribs. Slight drawing in the belly button to spine so you're taking out any sensation of back bending into it. From here, keep the left arm wrapped. Coming into Trikonasana, so straighten up front leg, reach forwards, bring back of the hand to ankle or big toe or hand to chin. Use that wrap of the top arm to keep the left shoulder rolling open. Again, gaze wherever your neck feels happy to be. And lean the chest back as though your chest, belly, and hips are spinning towards the ceiling. Straighten up the left arm towards the ceiling. From here, we come into Ardha Chandrasana. You have your block under your right hand if you want to, coming into half moon. So, hand comes forward to the front foot, float the back foot, flex up through the floating heel, keep the hips, belly, and chest, trying to turn to the ceiling. Options you hold here, maybe just working to taking that underneath hand off the floor. If you want to work into the binds, bend the back of the floating leg so you catch hold of it. Press the foot away from you so you encourage more of a back bend. You can take that into maybe your Natasha Rasna dancer as well if you have the underneath hand light. Wherever you are, come back into half moon. Just still holding half moon, well done. Come into pyramid, so both hands down, set the back foot down, close enough that both heels are rooted. Hands under um, onto blocks here if we need to, folding forehead to shin. Keep the hands rooted. As you inhale, just lift the chest slightly as you're taking a halfway lift. Pull the ribs further forwards, and then exhale, draw the ribs down the leg. Take that again. So inhale, halfway lift, reach the chest forwards. Exhale, pull, and then reach further down. Abdominals, pull in to give the body room. Either holding here or finding that paper clip feeling. So your left hand reaches back for the back leg, right hand reaches back as well. You may need to step the back leg in closer. Try and take hold of as low down the leg as you can. So maybe around the calf muscle to really squeeze the head into front shin. If that feels too much, keep the hands to the floor. Release the hands if you have that paper clip. Left hand to the outer side of right foot. Again, hands on the block if you wish to. Right hand lifting to the ceiling or resting to lower spine. Spin the shoulders. So use the pressing down of the left hand to help the shoulders rotate. Nudge your right hip back, left hip forward. Keep the hips square. Either holding here, taking a revolved half move if you want to. So left hand looking forward, float the back foot. You try to squeeze inner thighs towards the center line. Reversing that half moon. If you have it, come back into your pyramid. So step back foot away again, coming back through your warrior two stance of the legs, and then bringing an extended side angle. So we'll start straight with the bind variation. So bring the hand to the inside of the leg, hand reaching over. Option to hold here, thinking about that feeling of slightly tucking tailbone to keep lower back long. If you want to bring in half bind, top hand wraps around, or full bind, underneath hand grabs the left hand. So right hand is holding left wrist. Using that to pull the chest open, 
take that into bird of paradise if you want to, your back foot steps up, you do not have to, it's just play options, lifting right leg, straighten it if you're taking the play. Start to unravel bird of paradise, back to the floor, float it back with ease, with calm, unravel the vines, lift the hands towards the ceiling, lift the back heel, high runner's lunge. Left elbow comes to your right thigh, palm to palm or fist of the left hand and wrap the right palm on top of it so we keep the wrist straight, it's up to you, any variation of palms. Lifting back knee if we can, maybe taking bind, again loads of options to play here, so either holding the twist is still going to be strong work for the legs, focusing the breath, you can take a side crow, or split the legs. Come back into the lunge if you're playing. Lift the hands back high. Take a breath in. Exhale through your vinyasa, taking your chaturanga. Meet back into a downward dog. So bring your gaze to your hands. Take the bend of the elbows and then wrap the elbows towards the floor so you land them into the dolphin. Press through the palms, lift the elbows back up again. Exhale, bend the elbows towards the floor, land them into the dolphin. Take another two more of those. Inhale, lift the elbows. Exhale, elbows to floor. Good. Next time you're in dolphin, holding their forearms down, bring your nose towards your thumbs, take a breath in. Exhale, press nose back through to the elbows, exhale. Again, rock them forwards. Exhaling back. Two more. Press through the hands, come back into downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, step through to between the hands. Turn the back foot. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Nudge the back foot round. Gaze over left fingertips. Soften the shoulders, lengthen the spine. Make sure the chest is stuck directly over pubic bone so the torso is straight rather than leaning. Deepen or slow down the breath. Then wrapping the right hand around lower back, left palm lifts and reaches to the back of the mat, reverse warrior. So again, if your right hand can reach that left thigh, you press into it, so it'll push you back a little bit further. Nice, deepen into that left knee. As you inhale, straighten the left leg, reach left hand forwards, coming into Bhattra Konasana. The back of the hand is against the ankle or resting lightly to shin or big toe. Gaze wherever your neck, your breath feels good to be. Think hips, belly and chest, trying to spin towards the ceiling. Straighten up the right arm. Good. Coming into um, Ardha Chandrasana, take the weight forwards, left hand to the floor, float the back foot, kick out through the heel. Maybe underneath hand is on block, maybe you're working on taking the weight off the underneath hand. You, you can pause there, it's still going to be really hard work to hold this for a good few breaths. If you want to play, we take a bend of knee, top leg, grab hold of the foot or the ankle, and then push the toes away behind you so you arch the spine. Spinning chest and belly towards the ceiling. Maybe taking that into King Dancer if your underneath hand was light enough. So you use the pressing of the back foot into the hand to keep the chest open. Start to reverse the way you came. So if you're holding half moon, you're not holding it for too much longer. Straighten out the leg. Come gently into pyramid. So place the back foot down with control. Heel to the floor, folding forehead to shin. So use the breath to align your torso here. So take a breath in, lift the chest. As you exhale, think ribs pulling forwards and down as the belly scoops in. Again, inhale, take a halfway lift. 
Exhale, reach forwards and scoop down. If that heel is rooted, press into it. If it's not rooted, step it in a bit closer so that it is. Reach your right hand back to grab the right thigh. Left hand reaching back to grab that thigh. And maybe slide the hands down towards the calf muscles. Pull in. Gaze to the back big toe. Hands back to the floor. Revolve Trikonasana. So right hand to the outside of your uh, front foot. Left hand lifting either to ceiling or resting onto the lower spine. Underneath hand can be on a block if that's easier. Again, square the hips up. So think the left side of your bum reaching back and the right hip reaching forward slightly will square you up. Maybe lifting left hand, either holding here or take your revolved half moon. So right hand will come forwards. Float the back foot. Come back through pyramid, both hands framing the front leg. Step the back foot away so you come back through your warrior two legs, spin the arms open. And then working into extended side angle with option to bind. So hand to the inside of the front leg, the top hand reaches over or wraps behind you. Maybe full bind with underneath the arm wrapping under as well. So this time the left hand grabs the right wrist and then try and spin the chest open towards the ceiling. Breathe into it. Really nice. Make sure the neck feels comfortable. So gaze wherever neck feels good. Deepen into the breath. Good play with Pur of Paradise if you want to. So you can step back foot up and then straight in the front leg. Or have a rest. <laughs> I see you. Good. Keep that knee behind the shoulder if you're lifting into Bird of Paradise. Lovely. Slowly reverse the way you came. Place left foot down. Step the right foot back. Okay, lifting both hands to ceiling. Lift the back heel. Lower the back knee, so right elbow can come to the left thigh. Again, either palm to palm or right fist, and left palm wraps on top of it. Entirely up to you. You can apply practice that way. So again, either holding here or back knee lifts. You can find the bind if the arms feel gangly enough to reach around you. to the lunge, lift the hand, breath in, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, lifting chest, exhale, downward dog, bring the gaze to your hands, lower the forearms to the ground, press the nose through the elbows as though your nose is reaching towards the legs, take a full breath in, Full breath out. Bring the knees to the floor. So coming into Pinchamarasana, forearm stand. So any variations that you know, if you're a um, ninja with forearm stand, then take what you need. Uh, we can find a wall, so we're going to work into just opening through the chest a little bit. So make sure your legs are, so you can move yourself away just for this drill to so find a wall in your room. So feet are going to be hip, um, against the wall, then you bring your arms down where your bum is, so you keep round. Okay, walking the legs up the wall, no higher than your bum. Okay, so you can keep a bend in the knees, this is more about opening the chest. So pressing the nose, like we did just now, towards uh, your legs, so you get this opening through the shoulders. If we can straighten the legs then, wonderful. Try and find that arching through upper spine. If you're playing with the full pincher, you can take your feet up, any variations that you know. Good, Kieran. Draw in the lower ribs, try and straighten the lower back, keep the chest pressing through. Really nice. Good, Jonathan. Just take your elbows further forwards, think armpits to the floor. 
Yeah. Good, last couple of breaths. Are you coming down for a count of three, two, one? Bring the knees to the floor, find a child's pose on your mat. Take a moment to breathe. And when you're ready, come back into your downward dog. Bring your hands to the feet. So in one jump, you can take your stance a bit shorter, bend the elbows, push hands to feet, drag them back. Peace fingers, grab the big toes, push the toes into the fingers, and pull yourself into the legs. So elbows reaching wide to the sides, forehead coming to shins, lengthen the back of the neck, and then have a sense of shoulder blades lifting up rather than hunching around shoulders. Again, like we did in the pyramid pose earlier, take a breath in, take a halfway lift feeling. Scoop in the abdominals as you exhale, reach further down the legs. Take that again if you want to, or hold where you are. Release hold of the toes, palms to the ground, so we can have as much bend in the knees as we need to here, or hands can be on blocks. Take your right toes to tap the right wrist, so just kick your wrist. Left toes, kick the left wrist. Keep that going, right to right, left to left. Right to right, left to left. Once more, right to right, left to left. Okay, pausing, take the hands a bit further forwards, Jumping the feet to the outside of the mat, so jump them wide, hands forwards, jump feet back together. Hands forwards, feet jump wide, hands forwards, feet jump together. Jump them wide, feet together. Good. Again, you can take yourself to a wall here if you want to. We have the tuck jumps to handstand, so deep bend through the knees. Doesn't matter if your jumps just look a little bit like this today, little bunny hops, the wall starts from somewhere. So then taking um, as much as you want to, you can take yourself to a wall again. If you want to find a hop, find the balance, tailbone reaching back behind you, she says. Take another few jumps, I know it's knackering. Awesome. Last one. Good, Kieran. That's good hover then. Last one. Lovely. Good. Come back to the mats. Come into a wide leg forward fold in the wherever you can uh, see me. Actually, bring yourself upright so we're all standing anyway. Just roll the shoulders down. Get toes slightly turned in, heels slightly turned out. So slightly pigeon toe the feet. Okay, take the hands to the hips, roll the chest to open. Take an inhale, lift the nose. Keep the elbows squeezing back together behind you. So the forward fold, forehead coming towards the ground. Either keeping the hands with the hips or bringing palms to floor. Forehead drawing to the ground. Keep the center of the elbows wrapping in. If you want to take that to headstand, you can. If you're not used to taking headstand, this is not the time to start building into it. I'd rather your goals be pincher or handstand. Lovely. If you've taken handstand, try and land it back into crow, bring knees to forearms. Yes. Nice. Come back into wide leg folds. Jump the legs out. Good. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold back into the legs. Bring the feet in slightly closer. Toes turned out. Bring your right hand to hold onto the left ankle. Left hand reaches forwards and then around to grab the right ankle. So you may need to bring your feet in closer so that you can grab hold of it. Then pull yourself through the arms. So you're peeping underneath right armpits. 
If this is too strong, find any variation of your wide leg fold. Gently unravel if you have the wrap. Then your left hand grabs the right ankle. Right hand reaches forwards. Sweep it around to grab hold of the left ankle. Squeeze yourself underneath so you're peeping underneath your right armpit. Have a sense of pulling the ankles towards each other with your hands to really pull into them. Gently unravel. Okay, either completely reset yourself so you're in straddle or slide the hands down. If you're more mobile in the legs, turn the fingers to face the back of the mat so you slide down the back of the arms into straddle. Yeah. Good, <laughs> nice. Release the hands when you're there. So from here, taking a fold. So fingers out in front of you, reach the fingertips forwards. Maybe you're just holding upright, try and get the tailbone to reach back, breastbone reaching forwards. Okay, if you want more here, if you're fairly open through the hips, you take a block between your hands, lift the block up. As you exhale, reach the chest forwards without the block touching the floor. Rah, it's too much for me. Good. Lead from the breastbone, keep the fingers reaching out, 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 out. Lovely. Keep the back of the neck long. Pull up the quads so if thighs feel really strong. Nice. Bring yourself slowly back up. Good. Take your right hand to the left thigh. Left hand lifts up to the ceiling. Take a breath in, reach high. Exhale, lean across towards the right leg. So your right hand here is keeping the left leg turned out so you can press yourself further over. If you're fairly open, maybe replace this right hand to hold on to the inside of your right leg and left hand maybe grabbing the toes. So you encourage the spiral of your chest reaching towards the ceiling. Inhale, lifting back up. It's the left hand against the right thigh, right hand lifts up, take an inhale. Exhale, reach across towards left toes. It may be holding here, or you take the back of the left hand to the, sorry, the left hand to grab the big toe, and right hand reaches over to try and maybe grab the toes as well. And then chest spinning to the ceiling. Try and keep that right sit bone rooted. It will maybe lift slightly. Slowly inhale, lifting back up. Both hands either side of your right leg. Take a breath in. Have blocks under the hands here if this is helpful. Push into the hands. Lift up the hips. Yeah, slowly place the hips down. Take both hands either side of the left leg. Again, maybe your hands onto blocks. Lean forwards. Push into the hands, lift the hips up. Think pelvic floor skipping up. This is Mula Bandha checkup. This is really about that internal core. Place the hips down. Hands either side of the right leg, and maybe bring the legs slightly closer together here. We're going to try and lift hips and, hip and heels. So hands to the floor, lean forwards, hips pick up. Maybe one heel lifts off, maybe two. Good, float it down. Nice, give your crampy legs a little roll out. My left one always goes into cramp. Hands either side of the legs, lean forwards, hips lift. Maybe we add in one heel or both heels. Heels down, hips down. Good. Uh, much easier with blocks if you're playing with any threading. So either you repeat that again, even if it's just your hips lift, maybe the heels, take another, another third round. You want to start threading through. I'll show you first. You want to see lifting hips, tuck the feet in, so you squeeze into left arm, bring that into crow, and then back through. Same. Give it a go. So you lift up, hug both knees around the left arm, maybe tuck right knee around to the right elbow. Back under and back out. Yeah, nice work. 
hands either side of the left leg. Big breath, lean forwards, lift the hips up, lift the heels, elbows hug, sorry, knees hug right elbow, left knee to left elbow, back hustling, thread back through, back into straddle. Good, and we're dead. <laughs> nice. So come back into, scoop the legs together. Um, before we come to standing postures, just taking another drill for the arms. So come into, um, actually I'm gonna show you this first, okay? So um, I basically forgot to add this in after your pincher drill, but I really wanted to give you some kind of homework to practice if you want to. So forearms are gonna be on the ground, lifting the hips up. From here, coming into your chaturanga. So you take the weight forwards and land into the palms. So hips forwards, lift the elbows lower. Lift back up and drop the elbows. Okay, take a couple of rounds, give it a go. So forearms to the floor, take the weight forwards, land into palms. Good. Press back up and down into dolphin. Yes, guys, nice. Take a couple more. Last one. When you're next in dolphin, hold him there. Keep the hips high, press into the palms, into downward dog. Then bring your feet to the middle of the mats and hands towards the feet. Just take a little sway side to side, wriggle it out. Slowly rolling up and roll the shoulders down. Good. So taking right foot into our right hand, these fingers around right big toe, extend the leg forwards. Good, gaze to the big toe, drop the right shoulder. Take the leg out to the side of you, gaze towards the left, keep the hip down. Good option to do this with bent leg, you hold onto the shin or underneath the knee. Bring the leg back to center. Good, bend the leg so your ankle rests into your left thigh. Palms to heart center. Bring elbow to knee and elbow to ankle. Send the tailbone back. You can do this with hands on a wall if you want to. Good. So maybe holding here for a few breaths, you can find your flying pigeon if you want to, so hands to floor. Take the shin to rest into your right arm and toes wrap around the left. And then floating the back foot, lift the thigh away from your shin to extend. How am I doing that? I'm going to show you again. So you're taking shin into forearms, take the weight forwards like your crow pose. Nose comes forwards, pick up the back foot and push it away. So other variation that um, I've been playing with with that one, you come from this flying pigeon into Kumbhinyasana. So you will take, I do it this way, the flying pose and then you swap the legs. So your right leg is in the flying pigeon, extend the left leg out, wrap it around into the shoulder, through crow, and then you can take that to Kumbhin. And step it back. So the floating leg comes around to swap the shoulders. If you're still holding that, well done. You can take a pause if you want to. The last couple of seconds to play. Awesome. Good. <laughs> Let's take the other side. So come standing. Slow down the breath, just take a couple of breaths here in Tadasana. Okay, and then left hand coming to left foot. Find the big toe or the shin, extending leg out as we have the toe. The shoulder dropping down, chest feeling proud. Take the leg out to the left, gaze to the right. 
Keep the hip down, so think knee trying to turn out rather than forwards, turn the knee back. Yeah. Bring the leg back forwards, bend the knee to ankle, rest into your right thigh. Hand to heart center, send your bum back behind you, maybe just enjoy a bit of a hip butt stretch, or bring the elbows to knee and ankle. The more weight you can kind of put into them, you'll deepen into that stretch, get tailbone reaching back, or start to play, so hands to floor. Take your shin to rest into your left tricep, and the toes wrap around the right arm. Leaning forwards, so girls shin under the boobs kind of place, and then lifting back foot. If you're switching into kumbin, then sort the knee around to your right shoulder, Take the toe off the arm and drop it back. Come through chin stand if you find the balance. Good. Come into seated. Well done. Legs back in front of you. Roll the wrists. How are we doing on time? Oh. So hands to the floor. Take a breath in, lift the chest. Exhale, finding Pashi Matanasana, grabbing the ankles or under the calves or around the feet. Don't mind where you're holding. Just soften the head, soften the shoulders, slow down the breath. Slowly start to bring yourself up. Okay, hands to the floor just behind your hips, bend the knees. So you're going to take a tabletop or kind of half upward plank. So pressing through the palms, reach the knees forwards, lifting the hips. Either chin stays tucked to the chest. If the neck feels okay, let it drop all the way back. If you find somewhere in between, it's going to feel really uh, awkward for the neck. So either chin stays tucked or let the head drop. You're thinking tucking tailbone to front of the hips is open, pressing the floor away to shoulders trying to open out. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, come back through, thread your hips through the arms, keeping them lifted, bow forwards towards the knees, and then sit the hips down. Find the fold. Coming back up again, so we're just going to take that exactly the same once more. I'm just going to show you if you still have some strength in the arms to up level. So we're going to start from that same tabletop, lifting the hips. As you exhale, thread the hips through, bum reaches as far back behind you as you can, so you lift the feet. Then drop the hips and fold. Okay, so coming into tabletop, reaching these forwards, hips lift. Take a couple of breaths in tabletop. Deep breath in. Exhale, thread the hips through as far back as they can reach. Bad forwards, push into the hands, lift the heels, point the toes. Feet down, hips down, forward fold, Parshamasana. Inhale slowly, lifting yourself back up. Oh, good, bring the hips to the middle of the mat. Come onto your back, hug the knees into your chest. Take a rock side to side. Open the arms out to the sides. Take a twist to any variation that you like. Find that eagle wrap of the legs if you want to. Or legs just dropping down. The chest feel open. Take a breath in. On the exhale, use the bundles, use the cool, bring the knees through center. Exhale, drop them over to the left. Again, any variation that feels good for your body.
take a breath in. As you exhale, use the bonders, bring the knees through center, unravel the legs, turn the feet to the floor. Okay, just bring the feet wide, let the knees drop in towards each other, settle the arms down to the sides of the body. And then if you want to stay here, you can stay here or lengthen into full Shavasana with legs extended away. Let the breath find the belly. Release the ujjayi sign of your breath. Let everything feel softer. And see if you can just connect in with your body on that sort of cellular level, just noticing the energy through the muscles, the blood flow through the muscles. Acknowledging where in your body feels hotter or warmer. Where in the body you've created that feeling of like a humming in the muscles. Resonance through the body. Notice maybe the feeling of space around the lungs and the heart space if you've worked that ujjayi breath through the practice. Take a full deep breath in. And let the breath flush out. Once again, deep breath in. Exhale. When you're ready to, however feels best to get there, bring yourself to seated. And just bringing the hands to either knees or to your heart center. And just closing the practice, bringing to mind just one thing that you can feel grateful for today. Let's let that feeling sit at the heart space. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, bow the head to your hands. Thank you for coming to play, guys. Namaste. Well done. Thank you. See you soon.